Hello everybody, not my typical content. I'm having a problem with one of my security cameras. When the nighttime comes, it's just the LEDs are flicking on and off super fast and they're not staying on. I was kind of scouring the web and a couple of threads talked about using some electrical tape to basically isolate the PCBs from the housing on the camera itself and that really didn't make sense to me but buried in there somewhere was a different suggestion so I'm gonna go ahead and try that I don't have anything to lose so let's get at it and see if it works alright well here's what it's doing originally when it was blinking like this I thought it was picking up a reflection off the reflector on my trailer and causing it to go day and night real fast or the IR cut filter moving back and forth that was not the case I pointed it directly at the ground shield it cover the reflectors up it still does it all right well I've pulled the camera and I have it in my shop I'm gonna go ahead and test it one more time just using my hand bringing it in to break out the light and we'll see if it does the flickering again yeah and there it is the LED is just now kicked on when I pull out and it goes back to basically day vision works just fine alright well this is a Dehua camera I've already taken two of the screws out there's a third one right here I think this is a two millimeter Allen key so I'll get this one out and just show you how to take it apart. You have to do this one from the back. There are other models may be different. Who knows? So we'll take this loose. And there's a ribbon cable right here. You have to lift up and turn this key. Hopefully you can see it there. Turn that key and that ribbon cable will pop out and then this will just pull out like so. Now we're getting down into the meat. There are three screws around here that hold this particular PCB in. There's one. I'm going to go ahead and shoot this in real time. There is a gasket around here. I don't know if you can see it. You need to uh, be careful with that. There's two. And here comes the third one. Now this PCB will have the... Uh, camera mounted to it right there and then there's just one more holding this one of these connectors pull that out and then now we're getting down into where we need to be this is the infrared ring or the IR ring down in here it as well has three screws so I'll go ahead and pull these out and then after I get these out, I'll show you what we're getting ready to do. Okay, well I've got the LED board removed. See this U1 right here? That's the light sensor. This may be a photo transistor, I do not know. But this is the area that we're going to be focusing on. The idea here is maybe this decays over time and becomes more sensitive. And when the LEDs light, especially these two right here, when they light, they're interfering with this and they're basically saying turn off. So it's just going on off, on off, on off. The idea is to encapsulate this with a round circle of plastic that maybe is as long as the LEDs are tall and glue it on there and see if that corrects the problem. The original post I'd read was using a portion of a butt connector. This is an eyelet, but you get the idea. It's round, it's plastic. Maybe take this out of here, cut it to whatever length you need, 
and then glue it on. That's what we're going to do. All right, well, I'm using a piece of this 5 16 styrene tube, and I just cut a little section, as you can see here. This is going to sit right over that sensor, and I just don't want it to extend beyond the edge right here. To affix this, I'm just simply going to put a couple dabs of hot glue on there, and that is what I'm trying to achieve and you can see I've cut it just about to the height of where the LEDs are at all right a couple dabs of hot glue it's on there it's not coming off I did test fit it into the housing it fits just fine now when the PCB goes back in you'll notice this secondary hole right here and there's another one right here in the housing there are nubs that stick off. You can see one right here, and there's one right here. That is how you make sure you get the PCB in there in the way it came out. It's like a key. So I'll put the three screws in here, connect the wire, and I'll put the secondary PCB in, and it also has some nubs sticking off the housing here on at least my camera there are two of them to make sure you get that in the right orientation all right well i've got the camera pcb back installed and this right here is where this ribbon cable goes you can see on this side those are the connectors and then there's this blue plastic strip uh, on this particular camera, the blue plastic strip faces that brown lever. I'm going to try to do this in real time. It's kind of hard to get these things in there. Get it down in there and then lock it by pushing this lever down. Hopefully you can see that. And then the final connection is this connector right here, which goes right right there so now it's just a matter of putting the bolts back in and then we're going to test it out all right well I'm going to do a bench top test here I've got it put back together I'm going to uh, put my hand over it and see if there's any difference so here we go Well, so far it's looking pretty good. Let me mount it back on the house and we'll see how it looks outside. Well, it's been reinstalled and would you look at that? No flickering. Looks really good right now. Time will tell, but at least at this stage, that did correct the problem. Very easy to do. Didn't cost me anything. And it was well worth the effort. Like I'd said, what did I have to lose? It was either try to fix it or buy a new camera. As of right now, it's fixed. It's just an idea on what you guys might do if you're having that problem. Now, I'm not giving advice. I don't know anything about this stuff beyond what I'm doing. So, this camera, that camera, you're on your own. But, give it a shot. It might help you guys out as well. Thanks for watching and good luck.